Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and I am shooting a little bit of footage here to kind of show you what I go through when I've got the loop already made from the wife. She's done the kumi part, and now I'm going to try and get it started. Now the big thing is I need these blues to be sorted out because some go to the other side and some from the other side will come to this side and uh, see this this is the potential for a great big mess so kind of take them one at a time and uh, it won't become a great big knot or at least that's the hope okay there we go two at a time and just a couple more now All right, so here's all the blues. Now, for the sequence, I have, this is the image that I'll be using. And basically, this side over here, because it's the other side of this, this is my one. And then this second, this one becomes the number two. And that's the number three. So I'm trying to emulate this. So the darkest color is on both sides. So there'll be two of those. And that's this one. And then the lightest color will be off to the left. That's this color. And I'll need two more of those from over on this side. Wow, I have got myself so turned around. It's been a little while since I did this one last time, and I'm suddenly very, very confused. A few moments later. Okay, so I have it sorted now. It's three strings that have to travel, the two that make up the bigger box, and the one that's on the outside. So for going to the right, it's the second darkest, and this one dark, and then it's the lightest, and this one goes this way. So now... I set the loop really nice and close so that way when I put these two together it's as clean of a start as possible. And there. The darkest one is what starts the whole thing off. And so I'm going to just get those both in and tied into a knot. And that will kind of help keep the loop nice and clean. Okay, so now let's take a look at that pattern again. So... Basically, I'm working with the little triangle, whatever, that's on the farthest to the right. I know that seems weird to be that to be the number one, but it's just kind of how I set it up. All right, so the where you see where the red is, that then becomes the, let's come back here, is this dark one. And it just starts out at that first point and comes down in the box. So I need like three of these reds to be the inside of that box. And then a fourth one comes down and that's what allows it to kind of bounce off of it or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do all four. So this is a little bit different for me when it comes to recording because I'm used to having music playing loud or have something on the TV going. But instead, I'm doing this in real time with you guys. So you kind of get an idea that I'm not quite 
the God status that some people trend, tend to make me out to be. All right. So if you take a look now, there's, I added four of the red, so that way I could come down one, two, three, and then the fourth one will zigzag back. All right, so it's a left and then a right. And it'll do that on the other side. And mind you, I have six of these loops that I have to put together for the bag that I'm making. So I think I will spare my audience from putting together all six of the loops because they're all relatively similar in nature. It's about following what the color sequence is in that diagram. I could have gone and filled that whole thing in, um, but I didn't, really didn't see any reason for it. All I need to know is how the colors get started. And uh, that little diagram actually does that just fine. All right, so there's the fourth one. Oh, my watch just hit my lamp. Kind of gives a nice little gong sound every time I do that. All right. Three. And the fourth one bounces. Okay, so now at this point, the reds cannot, can go in either direction. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do them off to the right. If you prefer doing the left knots, you can totally do that here. Because it's red on red and um, continues to be, it really doesn't matter which way you choose. Um, later on, when the strings are getting shorter, then you might choose based on which one is the longest string and try to make it so that way you don't run out or have to replace things. But we just started, so that's hardly a problem at this point. And I know this from the previous bag, that it is the blue that's going to run out long before the reds. So... And yes, this is just like the New Year's bag. Um, the big difference in that is that uh, it's not a vibrant red this time. And it's going to be considerably smaller. This is this is for anybody who thinks that maybe they, they're advanced enough to want to actually try it, but don't want to commit as much string to go into it. I think there was... The previous bag was like 58 skeins, so this will be, well, considerably less. Um, the other one, I also had to add string um, to all the blues afterwards, so it might have even been more than just the 58 skeins. So if you're going to take the dive, this might be the, the easier way to do it. Mind you, you have to be cautious. This pattern is, it seems kind of simple, but it becomes real easy to make a mistake. So I just like to give the heads up that, uh, that it, is it is really easy to make a mistake. All right, now we can bring this other one in. And you can see, right, that's uh, kind of coming along pretty good, I think. And you can tell because I have my tension very well, nice and tight, that it is be it is like a really nice crisp, crisp square. So. So next, 
there's for no particular reason I'm going to continue working on the left side and I know that this one is the lightest color and it goes over top of this whole great big bunch let's bring this underneath Okay, and then we have the three reds. I try to take the pairs that seem like they're already sort of paired up with each other. It tends to just make it easier as I work. So if you're wondering kind of what's going on there, that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm choosing them. Okay, so then it's the three of those. Then it's the lightest one again. And mind you, these colors are really super close to each other. It's kind of what makes for a good fade. So then that goes on. And then it's this one. So at this point I have whoops, all the strings together and I can go ahead and knot up this section. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds in the background but there's a couple just outside the window having a little party or something. It seems rather loud to in here. I can't tell if the mic is capable of picking that up, but they sound really excited. Perhaps they've seen the bracelet. That could be it. See if I can shift this over just a bit. Maybe it'll be a little bit clearer for you guys. Just trying like heck to not hit the uh, outside of the lamp. I mean, it's not a terrible sound. It's just an unwanted sound. I'm still working out the whole how to have my little studio here set up. Constantly seems to be going under change. Little evolution. I don't know. So this is again a three by three square of the red. And this time it's a, last time it was like a super bright red. This time it's more like a burnt, rusty kind of red. I think had you asked me at the time of the previous um, bag, if you asked me which colors I would have preferred, I think I would have probably said that bright red. But now that I see this, kind of starting to come together. I I don't know. I'm and I think that's why I, I try I, I say I don't duplicate bracelets really, but I do reuse patterns with different color combinations because sure it can be kind of you know, you look at a pattern and you're like, well, I'll do it in that, that particular set and you think that's as good as it gets. But I I have found that occasionally color combinations that I wouldn't have guessed actually end up working really, really well. So, and I think this is one of those instances where 
the second time around might actually be best. So now this blue doesn't go all the way to the end. It stays inside. So it's going to turn right here. And I can bring that other bright one down. Try something. Whoa. That didn't work out. There. That's better. A little bit, maybe. Just felt like it was the camera was looking at more of the top of my head. Maybe I'll get like a smiley face up here. So when I'm working on my on on it too much that you end up seeing that instead. That'd be kind of fun. My smiley face on the website has actually been something since um, like 99 or 2000, I think, when I first got the web page. We were trying to learn how the little icon thing can be put there for a web page. And uh, I don't know how or why, but it just seemed like, yeah, a little, a little smiley face would be cute. Mind you, back then, my web page was a group of links of to all of the various websites that I thought were useful or fun. Mind you, that was like right around 99, 2000. So you would have had links for things like um, the hamster and the blender thing. What can I say? Internet was young. Looking back, had I gotten into doing bracelets back then, well, I was making bracelets. If I had gotten into doing tutorials back then, I'd probably be uh, kind of famous or something by now, I suspect. No, I'm just that guy that a bunch of people know. Okay, so now I need the darkest. And again, really close colors here. And then this is the last one. And just for kind of keep things nice and even, I can just put a clip off to the side there. You can't really see it, but I clipped the last string off to the board itself, which will just kind of hold things nice and steady while I try to finish this up. So I say this a lot, and I'll say it again. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I do try to answer them, and... Um, if it's something good where I need to actually make a whole video on it, I will probably do that. So lots of questions, whatever you need to ask me, go for it. Now for no particular reason, I'm going to go inwards with this. Again, the knots can go either direction. I just feel like this will help square things off just a bit. So this video will probably go with some of the footage from my live stream, I'm guessing. So I'm still, that's all, the whole idea of live streaming is still rel relatively new to me. And uh, I don't know a whole lot about it yet. 
but I am learning as quickly as I can because I have hopes to be able to answer your questions and show you what it is I'm doing um, kind of on the spot. Like Besides that, I've noticed that uh, we get talking on interesting, fun topics, so I kind of enjoy that as well. Second darkest blue comes down. Now I could try to fill in the whole rest of this box, but I'm not going to. Um, I can kind of do all that when I'm just getting ready to join them together. My primary interest is, is to get all of these things set up so that way when I do the other video, I have everything ready to go and this time consuming portion of it will have been out of the way. So not that I'm trying to deceive anybody as to how long these things take. I just trying to make it a little bit more bearable for the videos themselves. You can see, switch back over to this. So the red is representing the darkest color, which is up here in the middle. And the lightest is the purple. So you can kind of, if you take a look, this is essentially how I've started this whole thing. So, right, so this was the uh, red, and then this would be where the purple was. So I'm following along to the pattern exactly. You can go over to my web page and take a look. I have this image um, is on there. This is, again, this is the same thing I used for the New Year's bag, so. If you're feeling up to the task, I say go for it. All right. I'm going to go off and do the other loops now. So there we have it. Before I go, I just want to say a special thank you to all my amazing Patreon supporters who actually make all of this possible. If you would like to help support this channel too, just follow the link in the description to check it out. You would get access to Patreon-only content, giveaways, and more and it helps fund my cost to create better quality videos. And that's a win-win for all of us. Again, thanks everybody. And until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch.